Samsung in the latest Galaxy Unpacked event unveiled a Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, which certainly is the company's most high-end laptop yet. By the looks of it, it seems like they're going up against Apple's M2 lineup, specifically the MacBook Pro flagship. While the MacBook Pro itself is undoubtedly quite the capable device, given it has the next-gen Apple empty silicon up its leaves, when it comes to choosing either one of these two, which one should you go for? In this video, we'll be comparing these two giants to help you make a good purchasing decision. While both these laptops boast a 16 inches screen with up to 120 Hz of refresh rate, the difference lies in the resolution and panel. MacBook Pro 16 has a native resolution of 3456 by 2234p, whereas the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra offers 2880 by 1800p. As for the panels, MacBook Pro 16 is rocking the Liquid Retina XTR, which does offer exceptional contrast ratio and dynamic range. But when it comes to efficiency, Galaxy Book 3's AMOLED panel is one step ahead. It has a reasonable amount of depth and detail while chugging lesser battery juice. In terms of power, the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra is powered by a 13 Gen Intel Core i7, or Core i9 CPU, while the MacBook Pro 16 has M2 Pro or M2 Max CPU options which are far superior in terms of performance. There is a catch though, Galaxy Book 3 Ultra brings along discrete GPU options from Nvidia. The RTX 4050 and RTX 4070 which makes it ideal for gaming as well as creative tasks. The same can't be said about the MacBook Pro, though as gaming was never their strong point. While some compatible games do exist for Mac OS, none of them is in AAA. Or the Pro does shine is in its creative applications, such as high resolution rendering making it most suitable for creatives. Additionally, the MacBook Pro has more RAM options with up to 96GB available, while the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra has up to 32GB. MacBook Pro also has a larger maximum storage capacity with up to 8TB available, while the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra has a maximum of 1TB. While the expandability options on the MacBook Pro might sound overwhelming, but they will come in handy to store heavy project files that content creators often work with. As for the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, having more storage options would have been appreciated. Intel supports, the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra has two Thunderbolt 4, one USB-A, one HDMI 2.0, a micro SD card slot, and a headphone combo jack. MacBook Pro M2, on the other hand, has one additional Thunderbolt 4 and a Max Save 3 port which makes it super convenient for charging. The USB-A port on the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra is a nice thing to have, since it does not require you to get a hub for connecting USB-A compatible devices like the MacBook Pro. The base price of the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra starts at $2,199 while the MacBook Pro 16 M2 requires you to pay $2,499, $300 more. It gets even more costly if you want to bump up the specs to get more out of it. So, from this perspective, the Samsung counterpart helps you to save up some bucks. Everything considered, each of these flagship devices has a strong point of its own. Galaxy Book 3 Ultra has maximum software compatibility, since it's based on the Windows platform, making it suitable for gaming as well as creative applications. MacBook Pro 16 M2, however, relies on the Apple ecosystem quite a lot. The amount of power and expandability it packs makes it ideal for creators who are looking for portable workstations. So that was only about the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra versus MacBook Pro 16 M2 comparison. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.